Whether you're looking to establish a 100-person headquarters or a one-person satellite office, we can create a custom workplace experience that eliminates hassle, inspires employees, and fosters a culture that attracts top talent. The main purpose of an office environment is to support its occupants in performing their job, preferably at minimum cost and to maximum satisfaction. With different people performing different tasks and activities, it is not always easy to select the right office spaces. To aid decision making in the workplace and office design, one can distinguish three different types of office spaces, individual spaces, group spaces, and amenity spaces. For new or developing businesses, remote satellite offices and project rooms, serviced offices can provide a simple solution and provide all of the former types of office space. Typically, when a company is designing their office space, an office space expert, such as an architect, interior designer, or office planning expert will be hired. This professional should include three basic types of spaces in their client's proposal. The first one should be an individual space, an enclosed workspace for one person, suitable for activities which are confidential, demand a lot of concentration, or include many small meetings. This is the place where a person will be doing most of their work. It includes a private office, workstations, or focus rooms. The second space should be a group space. Meeting spaces in an office typically use interactive processes be it quick conversations or intensive brainstorms. These are different types of meeting space, each supporting different activities for collaboration. These provide a variety of tasks and audiovisual support, including boardrooms and conference rooms. The third space should be an amenity space, which is typically used for secondary activities, such as filing documents or taking a break at some point of the day. There are different types of amenity spaces, each supporting different activities where community can happen. Coffee and kitchen area, storage rooms, server rooms for technology and circulation areas are a few examples of amenity spaces. So, what is the right size for your company? According to the annual Staples Workplace Survey, it was recently found that the concept of workplace is continuing to evolve. For example, only 32% of employees spend all of their time at work in the office. What's more, a significant portion of 43% said that the option to work remotely is a must-have for today's workers. The problem in wasting space is this. The individual space is what a company or individual uses the most. The group and amenity space does not even come close to the amount of individual space that gets utilized. Surprisingly, and ironically enough, these last two spaces make up around 60% of the square footage of the office. This means that the company is most likely throwing money away by paying on group and amenity space that is not even being utilized. So why pay 100% of the 60% of office space when it is actually only being used 30 to 40% of the time? Right sizing takes place when the company pays for the correct balance between individual space and the group and amenity space. This typically looks like 40% of the private space and an on-demand group amenity space when it is used. Sharing the group space with others will make the 60% shrink even more and make the office investment more efficient. The next step in order to run the diagnostic and provide you with unbiased, informative input. The diagnostic includes questions like how many employees, what is your monthly rent or lease, what is the term, currently what is the size of your office, how many persons will be in the office more than four hours a day, how many persons will be in the office less than four hours a day, and so on. Once we have this information, we calculate the space needed. In this example, the headcount is four people. According with IFMA, the number of square feet needed per person is 275 based on a typical company. So in this case, this company requires 1,100 square feet. In San Antonio, the average amount per square foot is $22.84 plus triple net. So in this case, we have $25,124 a year, meaning $2,094 monthly. So in the traditional world, this company will face the following expenses at move-in on a monthly basis and the expenses every year. 
As you can see, there are some hidden costs that are usually not taken into consideration, like the moving cost from the old office to the new one, the exit strategy in case you need to cancel the agreement and requires a bigger negotiation, or maybe affects the price, furniture and equipment needed for the new location, including a conference room and one full office and three workstations. Because this expense will be part of the assets of the company, we then need to consider tax for these items. There is no support team to help in minor tasks, but an assistant or receptionist could mean the difference in a business who is fighting to be more efficient. But this asset brings a liability with that we cannot overview. And then the regular expenses and utilities that take us into these totals. Move in, $15,530. Monthly $6,338 and yearly $103,384. As you can see, these figures are more realistic because $1,585 is the average monthly price per person if you want to create a budget. In comparison with the other option, the flexible office model, where you are paying more accurately for what you are using. If we right size this company, the budget should look like this. With two private offices and two people working in the co-working area, the budget is $2,796. But the difference is that all the hidden costs are included in the price because the furniture is included. And not only that, you have the flexibility to modify the layout of this according to your needs. In this case, $699 is the average monthly price per person versus $1,585 in the traditional model. There's no move-in costs because you only need your laptop and the receptionist is included and is there for those minor tasks. The exit strategy is as easy as 60 days written notice. Obviously, there are no tax costs because all of those are paid by the flexible office space company itself. Move-in is $2,796 because it is the deposit plus your first month and that's it. Then monthly, $2,996 and yearly $38,784. As you can see, that's more than $64,000 in savings. The office of the future is like a full service hotel. If you want to talk to a right sizing expert today to find out how you can save money and increase workplace productivity, Call 210-598-5595 or visit us at www.rightsizeyouroffice.com.